as I they follow the get up. Bros, okay, just come. Say, baby, get up for excuse me now. Let me get a bros, okay? Say, let's go. I say, I'm tired for for me is is mind blowing like is it's crazy and I can speak for funny bone also because the way the, the love they've shown us from Calgary to Winnipeg um to where else did we go to Winnipeg, Calgary, uh, Montreal, Montreal. Mm-hmm. man and they are telling us that they can only get better. The love here has been amazing. It shows that you guys love us, you guys watch us, and you guys celebrate us. So, so far, is there's there's not been any regret so far. Mm, great, that's good to know. So we know that this is your second time here, right? This is my third time. Your third time? Yeah. Oh wow. So I guess maybe the second one we missed you. Yeah. No, the first one I came, I came with. Um, first time I was here, I was here with um, Aporo. No, I was here with Bovi. Okay. Then I came back with Aporo and mm-hmm. Topal. And now it's uh, so the first one, yes. Yeah. So this is your third time. So I guess the third time is the charm, as we all know. Yes. <laughs> I know people, even our government, they don't go for third time. But then, yeah. so. Maybe it's time for you to have a citizenship. No, let me go. Yeah, yeah, so I, I, that's a citizenship is more important than the 100 million for. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Because that 100 million for me to go, it will come into go. I want to find sister that we get papers so that I will not, at the end of the day, both of us will not be looking for papers. <laughs> so when they so when they say uh, immigrants, yeah, people with yeah, um, status over there. Now they have to your father. <laughs> See, like hint, hint. Our sisters with papers come and say hello. Oh, sorry. Yes, <laughs> you have to go through me. Yes, but I know. So now, of course, we know. Well, we have to say congratulations for your for your special that was on Netflix. Thank you. Thank in you fact, so you are doing us proud. Thank we are so we're in support of your ministry, Thank you. and we know that this is just the beginning. Thank you. But where do you see yourself um, going in regards to you know expanding around the world? Well, whiskey has been selling out the O2, and there's nothing that says that we comedians can't do that. Kevin Hart sold out the O2, um, Eddie Caddy sold out the O2, the O2 Mo Gilligan sold out the O2, you know. Uh, I can't wait. Um, I think that's where we're heading to. We can also sell at the big venues. Mm, also the the Madison Garden. You know, so we sell out the. We want to sell out big venues also. We want to yes. take the the Nigerian comedy. Tell people about our culture. Mm-hmm. Tell people about who we are. Um, there are so many things that people do not know about Nigeria. Let's pay, let's tell them the good things. We know the bad things. We will talk about it. But at the same time, there needs to be a balance. People need to know that Nigeria is not. Um, totally a corrupt country. There are yes. so many people doing us proud, mm. and which we are part of those people. So okay. the way we see ourselves in the next two years, next five years, is talking to non-Nigerians, mm. white people, mm. about who we are, what we are, and why Nigerians are good people. Hey, child. Maybe you should run for that presidency. No, nobody will push you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who I do. <laughs> Give the world a positive view, yeah. positive look on Nigerians. So definitely. Now, um, who do you look up to in the industry so far? Everybody. I learned from even the worst person because um, 
there are so many things you see in some people and you're like, how can this person do this? You know, mm-hmm. EY is an amazing businessman. He understands how to pull up the shoe. He understands how to sell out the shoe. Mm-hmm. Basket Mount understands what it takes to, to, to put up a stand-up comedy show the way it should be. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. So, I learned from my leave about also how to understand the business in the comedy, how to relate with your audience, in, in different aspects, you know, we can have all the crowd, the other crowd, yes. how to work with the political guys. Mm-hmm. So I look up to all of them in the English. I'm learning from every one of them. Wow. That's sweet. Um, what would you say that um, with the industry itself, is it a competition or is, does everybody support you? You can tell when you come to Nigeria and you see a comedian doing a show, you are seeing 50 comedians coming to support. Invited or not invited, that is the love we have in the comedy industry. We look out for each other, we come out for each other, we support each other. I don't care how much you sell your tickets, I don't care how much, I don't care who is your sponsor. All I know is that I'm coming to your show to support you. It's not about the fans at this time, it's about you. I'm here to show you love. And in the comedy industry, you can tell that the love is there. Same, um, Funny Moon is my senior colleague, mm-hmm. and I'm on top team. And it's not saying because of my senior colleague, it is like that. Mm-hmm. We are having better be working together, making sure that okay, this is what we should do at this show, this is what we should do at this other show, this is what we should give, and I think we should reduce this, we should add this. So there is strength in collaboration, and yeah. that is what I think in the comedy industry we have more love than the music industry. Ministry, I was going to say, <laughs> definitely. And um, so far, because you know, you have that your signature yeah. with comedy and music, which it is a, it's a big signature because there is no one that is really competing between that and that. Okay. <laughs> so, um, how do you distinguish yourself the more? In, because of course you have people who are looking up to you who yeah. want to emulate what you're doing. Yeah. So how do you find yourself like keeping that distinguished? Um, because I'm a family brand. I'm not a brand that um, kids cannot listen to. I'm not a brand that the older generations cannot find interesting. I'm not a brand that cannot perform in the club. I'm not a brand that cannot perform in the church. I'm a family brand, you know, and that has kept me in the industry for a long time, you know, the consistency in the music coins that I do. I won't say because this person is trending with something different, I have to copy what this person is doing. I've been able to be true to myself. If I say that this is trending, what I'm looking forward to, how to interpret what's trending with who I am, so that I don't become, um, I don't become somebody <laughs> else. And there's there's a watchword that I don't do trend. You know, I do something that is iconic, something that will last for a long time. So I guess so for those looking up to me, yeah. um, all I just tell them is be truthful to you. Uh, know that this is what you want to do. Comedy is the fastest exam you can write. You are writing the exam, they are marking you. And comedy is like a ministry. You need to know if you are called or not. So uh, even if you are you are going to look up to someone, understand the disadvantage in that person. What are the things that's making them fall? And because if you copy their fault, then you are a fool. Sorry to say that, but that's just the way it is. Cool. Um, thank you for that. Um, where do you see, like, do you have any projects that you're working on right now? Yes, my, my second comedy special is dropping. Um, the times on Netflix also again. And, you know, I'm also on my tour now, I'm also doing on tour, I'm going to the U.S. for June, July, you know. uh, next year, next 15 years, I'm doing comedy. Wow! Uh, so, we plan, plan to do something, maybe 15 years, we'll still just celebrate. Mm-hmm. I've tried to do the story so far, um, launch a project that I've always wanted to do, I'm going to keep it going, so you guys will watch out. Um, basically, just keep supporting the board. More projects will come, but I don't like it. Then, then, I would like to let the cat out of the bag. Then just, can you not promise us that we also will come back to you? It's on our way. It's <laughs> Oh goodness, so where do you get your, um, like your skits from? How, what do you need to do or do you have to do something for you to be able to come up with this funny great enough, idea? Funny enough, sometimes I didn't even know how. You know, they just come. Um, I would say it in the, and sometimes I watch myself and I'm like, how did I come up with this? How did this happen? And I think it's my environment, you know. Uh, my environment gives birth to a lot of ideas. My the places I go to, you know, inspires my my kind of comedy. 
Um, I watch movies a lot. Then I get a joke from the soundtrack of the movie. You know, create a story about that. If I watch a movie and create a story about that, so I get my jokes from almost everything around me. I get the vision from God through everything. That okay, that's lovely. Wow. So we just want to say um, thank you. But what do you have to say to your fans? I want to tell my fans. But we can come, come on, come on, okay, like, together, together. Are you guys Nigerian? Where are you from? Um, half Guardian. Half Guardian, Charlie. <laughs> we have to beat our fans, you know. <laughs> Never can tell who is single and who has papers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what do I have to say to my Keep being amazing, keep supporting the brand. I promise not to let you all down, but at the same time, you all need to pray for us because ordinary eye cannot do this work. You understand? Pray for God to give us more inspiration. I will promise not to let you all down. I keep supporting this channel. Subscribe, share, like, and Debasi TV. I tell everybody to do that. If not, we go act on our account. So I, mean, I, don't, I don't act on account, but they act on our own. <laughs> Oh, no problem. I want to say thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Thank you for doing what you do. We love what you do and we continue to support what you do. You. And as you've heard it, a mother in law in Canada. Yes. If you have paper, only if you have paper. If you have paper. Not say if you have paper, paper will not get anything for inside. The paper that works. For example, carry full scarf. Come now. Say, nice. Oh, correct paper. Don't worry. We'll scan it. We'll scan, we'll scan it. it before we approve. Mm -hmm. Alright. So thank you guys. Love thank me. You. Follow us. Bye. He said, get it black, oh, he said, if you believe, you go defeat, yeah, stand up. Guess who, guess who, Canada is getting black. We out here, we don't come, get your tickets, so that we don't go back by road. Funny, boom, because they can't fly the first time, you don't follow me, come, because in come, you don't come early, no wala. We they go back together. I don't care. You go see. Can I go do you, pasa, pasa. She said, excuse me. I said what? Excuse me. I said what? Yeah. Yo, what's up, people? This is your boy Kenny Black. We out here in Canada for the Love Conference. Um, you guys go get your tickets. Winnipeg, Calgary, Ottawa, Toronto, Toronto. La, I must see what Toronto. We out here. So you guys get your tickets and don't allow us go back by road because our former job no good. So please help us, eh? We are here, man. Canada. Let's show it down, Kenny Black. And single sisters. I used to be good now. Let me just go back. Like that, please come and um, ask for my hand in marriage so that for the future. Hey, yeah, pa. I say, who's your dad? I said, they follow the girl, so bros. Okay, just come. Say, baby, get up, excuse me now. Let me get a little bros, okay? Say, let's go. I say, I'm